Sorry, that's my wife, sir. She can, she can move on. Go you ahead, baby. You can drive go, on. Go ahead, baby. Go, go. Just go. Just go. Just Deputy go. Minus is precinct five constable's office. I'm sure you know why you're being stopped, right? I'm, I'm sorry. Sixty-eight miles an hour in a thirty-five. Mi Sixty-eight miles an hour in a thirty-five mile an hour zone. When you were going southbound on that service road back there, I was sitting right there I'm sorry, shooting my lighter on the service I, road. I, I'm sorry, boss. I'm late I to work. I heard your car coming from uh, a block loud. away. It's loud. It's a full boton car, man. Okay. I'm sorry. I, That's not that, a reason to be look, going 68 I, miles an I'm hour. Late. One hour later. I'm a citation for speeding 68 in a 35 mile an hour zone. Yeah. And your copy, I've circled what you're being cited for, court address, phone number, date and time there on the bottom. Okay. That's your copy. On the court copy, I need a signature on the X by signing it's not an admission of guilt. It's a promise to appear and a good contact phone number next to the hashtag mark on the right. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We in with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships. Red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can see, by the title and the thumbnail, yes, yes, they didn't got down on the kid, man. They didn't got your boy. You feel me? Yes. The time was coming. It was inevitable with this car. How loud it is. The AWE exhaust. I mean, just listen. <laughs> on my way to work, it's a Saturday. This is very, very rare for my wife to be heading to work the same time that I'm heading to work. That being said, she still ended up leaving just a little bit earlier than me. So her car was ahead of me, right? As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, obviously today we're going to be talking about how I got a speeding ticket. <laughs> yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. It happened. They got down on the kid. Constable pulled me over, gave me a speeding ticket. But let me just tell you guys how this constable really tried to end my career, son. No cap. Like I said, it was already kind of a weird day with my wife being at home when I woke up to go to work. Um, now, her commute to work and my commute to work are almost similar. You can take the same roads even though it's not the same location. Um, so she left maybe like five minutes before I did. And this is just so funny to me. So her car is ahead of me the entire time. I don't pass her up not one time. Not one time, right? Okay? I'm driving. As you guys know, Vader is a Bolton car. Speed engineering, long tool, headers, 178s. And then Cat Catalyst, X-Pipe, AWE, track, axle rack. The car, the car screams. It does. So it was only a matter of time that before I either got pulled over for A, it being too loud because downshift. So with that, <laughs> and then the fact that the car is on that NRG sauce, it's like it was only a matter of time before them boys. I mean, just listen to that thing, right? <laughs> it was only a matter of time before them boys got me. But the way that they got me is just crazy to me. So, like I said, my wife left the house before me. Maybe like five minutes. Something like that. No more than five. 
because I was still able to see her on the main road once I turned on to it. So, anyway, she gets caught up at a red light. So I end up catching up to her. Mind you, I'm still behind her. I'm sitting at the red light. Next thing you know, the light turns green. We proceed to drive. Literally, I want to say 30 seconds after the light turned green, the cop got behind me and lit me up. I'm like, what the hell? Damn. So immediately I look down. I see 45. I know the speed limit is 35. I'm like, damn. Man's about to get me for going 10 miles over. Crazy. No. <laughs> No, no, hell no. So, you know, cop lights me up, whoop de whoop, 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 you feel me, sirens, everything. I'm like, damn, bro, it's literally like 6 40 some in the morning, man. I already had a long night the night prior, so I was, I was dead tired. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Cop walks over to the car, you know what I'm saying? Before him walking over to the car, right? Like I told y'all, my wife was ahead of me the entire time. So when the cop cut the lights on, you feel me? She pulled over too in fear for me. So with that being said, when she pulled over, she pulled over in front of me. The cop did not like that whatsoever, bro. The cop gets on the microphone and he tries to talk to me through the intercom to tell me to turn the car off. Obviously, y'all know Vader's loud as hell. I couldn't hear him. Plus, the speaker was having some issues. Like, it was just going in and out as far as the audio went. So I really couldn't hear him. So I stuck my hand out the window and, you know, signaled to him that I had no idea what he was saying. I guess he did not like that <laughs> because he got out of the car and screamed at me with everything he had. You know when somebody's screaming with everything they have solely because you can hear their voice get hoarse. You hear me? You can hear their voice like give out a little bit. And that's exactly what his did. It was like something along the lines of turn the vehicle off now and tell that other car to drive off or they'll be arrested. Something along the lines of that. All right, y'all. So real quick disclaimer, man. Um, I just want to note that I completely understand the police have a very, very hard job. And I'm not knocking the good police officers that are out there. Um, I completely understand this situation for the cop's perspective. You know, he's by himself. He doesn't have a partner. He's pulling over a car to make a traffic stop. And another car pulls over with him. You know, he's outnumbered. He's paranoid. I get it completely. I tried explaining to him that I completely understood. It was my wife, you know, trying to calm down and de-escalate the situation. But buddy just wasn't having it, man. So me panicking, bro, I hurry up, call my girl. I'm like, baby, drive off. This dude's bugging. Shit's about to go south. He's already upset. I'm like, man, it's early as hell. He's a constable. And it's he's already upset. I'm like, this is not finna end well. So she drives a little bit further down the street um, and pulls over to wait for me. While she's waiting for me, Our boys never fail me. <laughs> Y'all never fail. Anyway, <laughs> so like I was saying, she pulled over a little ways ahead of me. Now, the cop walks over to the car. He finally walks up to my car. He's screaming at me. I'm talking about going ballistic. Like this man is my father or something, man. What the hell are you doing? Why are you driving so fast? You were doing 68 and a 35. What the fuck is wrong with you? Blase, blase, blase. Blase, blase, blase. Like, losing his shit 
on me and I'm just like bro 68 in a 35 hell nah ain't no way like ain't no way in here I ain't gonna lie, gangster. That whole sound good for a Hellcat. It's backfiring and shit. Got a little drag pack on him. Okay. Got a little drag pack on him, too. I see you, my boy. No cap. But anyway, he comes up to the window. He's going ballistic. Woo de woo. Axes me for my driver's license and my insurance. Goes back to the car. I'm talking about bros at the car for at least 20 to 25 minutes bro if you've ever been pulled over you know if you're waiting more than 20 minutes more than 10 minutes on the side of the road with the cop in the back of his car then yeah you know <laughs> you're getting a ticket at the end of the day that's what's taking so long is he's riding that ticket dude comes back tells me you're getting excited for your speed going 68 in the 35 um tells me that i need to slow down talking about i heard you before i saw you now the ticket now this is what this is where shit gets really really fucked up so as you guys know if you get a ticket on the road for doing anything it's gonna be a nice amount of change right but there are two situations that can make that price go up. Either A, you're in a construction zone with active construction workers, or B, you're in a school zone while the lights are flashing. And guess what? Mind you, there was no, there was no construction workers there was no construction zone there was no none of that president set up nothing why the hell did this constable put on the ticket that we were in a construction zone with construction workers present after already citing me for going 68 in a 35 33 miles over the speed limit already so the ticket is already gonna be hefty you feel me? I'm already expecting a decent price tag. On top of that, you're trying to say it was construction workers in the area? So now I'm endangering the lives of the construction workers by going 33 miles over the speed limit. Yeah, man. I I don't know. I, that, that right there is just beyond me. With that being said, y'all, it was just a crazy interaction, man. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this interaction with the police. Um, do you think he could have handled it better? Do you think I could have handled it better?